and I'll wave down a former Swanee River. Folks keep jiving all the day long. Oh, that's where I'm gonna stay forever. With a gate will make my life a song. So, honey, child, on that day when you come my way, I'll say. Terrific, honey. If I know anything about shows, this ought to run a year. Maybe two. Gee, I hope so. I could use about a year's steady work. Yeah, especially the salary that goes with it. It'll take just about that much to get me out of hawk. Dorothy, <laughs> Carter and Colby would like to see you in the office. Thanks, Bill. See you later. All right, kids, gather around. I want to tell you something. Hello, fellas. Bill said you wanted to see me. Well, Dorothy, I've got bad news for you. We're closing rehearsals. Closing rehearsals? Only temporarily, we hope. Ralph, you can't do that. You've got a hit. This is the biggest thing you've ever done. Yeah, honey, that's what we think. But unfortunately, our backer is pulling out on us. Well, you can't just fold up. Get another backer. Look, I've been around show business long enough to know a hit from a turkey, and this can be a smash hit. I'm afraid it's no use, honey. We're asking the cast to stand by for a few weeks. If a miracle should happen, we promote another bankroll. I'm sorry, boys. Say, how much of a bankroll would it take? 20,000, 25,000 maybe. No, we can get it. Maybe. Part of it anyway. We just got the bad news. Maybe it isn't so bad at that. Stella, give me a nickel. How would you kids like to take a trip out west? You mean that ranch you've been talking about? Mm-hmm. Western Union, please. Well, why go clear out there to starve to death when we can starve right here in Chicago? But it would be fun, cowboys and... Cowboy. <laughs> That's for me, way out west where men are many. <laughs> Kids, I've got a hunch. And if it doesn't work out, we can stay on the ranch until the new season opens. At least we'll have enough to eat. Western Union, I want to send a telegram to Roy Rogers. Bar X Ranch, Cold Brook, Utah. You missed me. Oh, hello, Roy. How are you? Okay, Gabby. But I'm a little worried. I got a telegram. Telegram? Who died? Nobody. It's from old man Bryant's granddaughter. Listen. Please take inventory, bar X. Planning immediate sale. Arrive noon train Thursday. Signed Dorothy Bryant. Females. She can't sell the bar X. First place old Tom would turn over in his grave. He thought that place was going to pass out of the family. Yes, and he'd turn over twice if they started running sheep on it. Sheep? There ain't nobody gonna run no sheep around here as long as I got a trigger finger. Winton and his outfit's been trying to get their hands on the Bar X for the past 20 years. If she puts it on the market, they're sure to buy it, and you know what that'll mean. Yeah. Sheep on our range sure is shooting. We gotta do something. Do it quick. Gabby, you were Pop Bryant's closest friend, and I was thinking when she gets out here, you could sort of have a talk with her and convince her. Convince a female? Ain't nobody living can tell them nothing. Next to a sheep, they're the dumbest critters on Take earth. easy, Gabby. There's no use yelping like a coyote. Yeah. What we've got to do is try to figure out a way to keep her from selling. Of course, when she sees the ranch, you might change your mind about selling. We could have the boys fix it up a little bit. Fix it up a little bit? It's too darn neat and pretty as it is. We could make it more feminine-like, more... Well, have the boys put up some lace curtains and stuff. I'll see you Thursday, Gabby. Lace curtains and stuff. Darn persnickety females. <laughs> Doggone termites. Hey, Kenny, give me that brass polish, will you? This is the funniest hanging I ever attended. Lace petticoats for winders. <laughs> Snap it up, boys. That train will be pulled into Colebrook in an hour. See you at the station, Bob. I thought you was going in with us. No, I'm going by and pick up Gabby.
What's on your mind, Bowman? I want to talk to you, Rogers. That'll have to wait. I'm on my way to meet a train. That's just what I want to talk to you about. Lacey here tells me Brian's granddaughter wants to sell a bar X. Well, he ought to know he delivered the telegram. But what's that got to do with you? Look, Rogers, I'm a real estate and cattle broker, right? And I've got a buyer, $100,000 cash. If it's Winton you're thinking about, we're not interested. Well, I've never heard that there's anything wrong with Winton's money. The girl wants to sell the ranch, and Winton wants to buy it. He's got the other side of the range to run his sheep on. We're keeping the grass in this valley for cattle. Say, I was just a thinking. That Bryant girl ain't never even seen the Bar X. Probably hasn't any idea what it's worth. Maybe you got something there. If she needs money, she'd probably be tickled to death to give us an option to buy it for twenty-five or thirty thousand. We could sell it to Winton for a hundred thousand. No, not after Rogers tells her how much that ranch is really worth. He's on the way to meet her now. Suppose he never got to the station, and we did. Do you mean what I think you mean? Well, 70,000's a lot of dough. You stay here, Gabby. When I whistle, come running. Nice shooting, Lacey. young whippersnapper. Get up! Take it easy, Rogers. We were shooting at a coyote. Any of those shots hit near you, it was a mistake. Didn't look like a mistake to me. Come on. Here's the other one, Roy. Wait a minute, Rogers. You and Whitaker think we shot at you deliberately. We say we didn't. What do we do with them? We've got a train to meet. Let them walk back to Cold Brook. Bryant. Well, welcome to Utah, Miss Bryant. I'm Roy Rogers, and this is Gabby Whitaker. Hello. Hey. Thanks for the nice welcome, Mr. Rogers. Makes me feel awfully important. These are my friends, Mrs. Mason and Miss. You Joe. mean to say all them females are with you? Yes. Do you mind? Well, what he means is that. Uh... Well, that's quite all right. You have our transportation. Yes. I'll take your bags. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Mr. Rogers, if you don't mind. Well, I'm sorry. I think you said that. See you. What's this stuff for? Just something to make you smell good. You should try it sometime. Looks like we're all going to be one big happy family. I reckon if Roy can stand it, you can. 
We won't annoy you with our presence very long, Mr. Rogers. I'm only staying until I sell the ranch. It'll have to be a mighty long time. Me and Roy have decided you can't sell. Oh, you've decided. Well, what he means is, we've been thinking it over and we've decided I'm that... quite capable of thinking for myself, thank you. No female is capable of thinking for herself. Say, what are we doing, playing straight for this old goat? Quiet, Grandma. Now listen here, young Just boy. a minute, Gabby. I'll talk to Miss Bryant. That won't be necessary. If you'll just load our luggage. I'm sorry we got off to such a bad start, Miss Bryant. I guess Gabby was a little blunt. He has a habit of saying what he thinks. What you both think, apparently. Well, the only reason we were hoping you wouldn't sell the ranch, is it? Well, it's been in your family so long, and we thought Mr. that... Mr. Rogers, I appreciate your interest, but I've already made my decision. I know, but at a forced sale, you'll never get what the ranch is worth. Then I'll take what I can get. I want the money for a better investment. A better investment? Well, what's a better investment than a ranch? It pays you a good income and... Really, Mr. Rogers, I don't think this is any... I'm investing the money in a theatrical production. Investing? You're gambling away your ranch you haven't even seen yet. I guess there's nothing I can say... That's right. That's funny, we're not out of gas. Even out here it happens. What's the matter, Roy? I think it's a carburetor. Yep, it's a carburetor, all right. Gabby, we'll have to ride back to the ranch and get another one. Boys, you stay here. We'll be back in about an hour. If the girls ask you anything about the ranch, how big it is or how much it's worth, don't answer. Just sing and keep singing. I'm sorry, folks, but we'll be back as soon as we can. Does it take two of you to carry a carburetor? Well, you see, one of us might not know where it is. Well, you might as well tie your horses up, boys. What are you up to, son? I've got a brainstorm, Gabby. Oh, I know that, but what are you up to? <laughs> Come on. Look, Roy, what are you trying to fool her for? Just tell her if she sells a bar X, the whole darn valley will be overrun with sheep. That wouldn't mean a thing to her. She's city bred. She's a female, ain't she? City bred or country bred, they're all alike. Take her over your knee. I've got a picture of me taking her over my knee. She's got spirit. You can't outfight her, you've got to outsmart her. Outsmart her? They're all dumber than sheep. Darn persnickety females. If I had my way... But you haven't, come on. This will be a good place for it, Gabby. Hurry up, Gabby. Howdy, Miss Bryant. For the three little, two little, one little mile, there goes my one little, two little, three little, four little, five girls stole my heart. Nice boys, but would you mind telling One me little, what? Two little, three little, four little, five girls went by. Four little, three little, two little, one little girl just caught my eye. One little, two little, three little, four little, five girls could see. The bar X is that away. Oh, it ain't it's that away. Can't you read? Welcome home, Miss Bryant. Oh, this? This is awful. Well, 
it is a little run down, I guess I ought to slicked it up a little bit for you. But I got hungry. Hey, boys, rustle the lady's luggage, will you? Now, would you like to see the inside? Oh, well, it really isn't much, but we call it home. Yeah, pull up a window and sit down. <laughs> it is a little untidy, but... Untidy? Uh... Why, it's filthy. Is this all there is to the place? Well, sure. Do you mean all of you live in this shack? Well, the boys don't work here. They're from the... Uh, from another ranch, just neighbors. Them overhauls are supposed to hang right there. Hang? They can stand by themselves. I need some air. Gee, I'm sorry you don't like the place, Miss Bryant. How big is this place? Oh, 40 or 50 acres, I should say. Of course, all of it is in good land. The stock's all right, though. We've got some good cattle and some pigs. Would you like to see them? No, thank you. What I don't understand is how this place has been able to support itself, much less pay me an income of $200 a month. Well, that's why it's run down. Of course, now if we could have been putting that money we've been sending back to you, back into the ranch. Never mind our luggage, boys. We aren't staying. Not staying? Well, I thought you came out here to sell. <laughs> sell? This place? <laughs> I doubt if I could give it away. We're taking the first train out. Now you're talking. That's the most sensible remark I ever heard from a female. Oh, I'm sorry you're disappointed, Miss Bryant. Next train leaves 20 minutes to 11 tonight. Well, I guess we'll just have to wait here until train time. You might as well load our baggage in the station wagon. Oh, but the station wagon doesn't belong to this ranch. It doesn't belong here? But I thought you... No, it belongs to the ranch where the boys work. But uh, I think I can borrow it to take you back to the station, that is, if you're set on leaving. Well, we're set. You can say that again. I'd just as soon live in a buzzard's nest. Well, that ought to suit you just fine. Better be ready about 10 o'clock. Mount up, boys. Come on, Gabby. Well, good evening. Aren't you folks ready? We're not going. Uh, not going? Miss Bryant has decided to stay. Now you look here. Could I speak to Miss Bryant, please? Well, just a minute. Gee, I hadn't figured on this. If they... Yes? Uh, you've, uh, you've decided to stay? Yes, we have. I'm going to... Well, what was that? A coyote. If you're figuring on staying the night, Miss Bryant, maybe you'd better take this. Why should we need that? Wild animals. Well, well, last night a fella got clawed to pieces in his sleep. Then, of course, they the rattlesnakes. If you think you can frighten us with a corny gag like that, you're crazy. Females. You ain't got brains enough to be scared. Why well, remember Don't once... You think that maybe... Maybe you girls it... would feel better if we brought our blankets and slept out here tonight. Thank you. I don't think that will be necessary. All right, but uh, if you change your mind, just holler. Good night. Good night. Female. Since when did Gabby's place get to be the Bar X? I don't know. Maybe we can find out. Good morning. You Miss Bryant? Yes. My name is Bowman. I was a good friend of your grandfather's. This is Steve Lacey. Hello. Howdy. I understand you're anxious to sell a Bar X. I certainly am. At least I was until I saw it. I don't think this place is worth very much. Hasn't your foreman given you an estimate? No, he hasn't. As a matter of fact, Roger seems very anxious to prevent me from selling this place at all. Well, I happen to be in the cattle and real estate business. If you'd like to drop into the office tomorrow, maybe we can make a deal. I certainly will. I'll try and get in this afternoon. Oh, that's fine. Well, I wouldn't say anything to Rogers about this. Naturally, he'd try to prevent a sale to protect his job. I wouldn't be surprised. Well, see you this afternoon. Bye, and thank you. Hold everything, kids. We're leaving. What? I got a customer for the ranch. We're selling out. Oh, look, how about making up your mind? We're going, we're staying, we're staying, we're going. I was just commencing to like the place. Are you kidding? Good morning. Good morning. 
Cowboy. Hello, Miss Wanda. Hi, Cowboy. Can I uh, help you with that? You sure can. <laughs> Good morning. Won't you come in? Fine. Well, of all the dead blame, look what they've done to the place. Well, you sure fixed it up nice, Miss Bryant. You really like it? Like it? Why, it... sure we like it. it. It's swell. Flowers. Flowers is for funerals, not for a house. And look at the petticoats on them windows. This here's a ranch. It ain't no lady's boudoirie. Where's my Sunday overhauls? They couldn't have walked away. I'm not so sure about that. If you wasn't a female and was closer to my age... Nobody could be that close and live. Quiet, Grandma. Gabby. <laughs> sort of loses his temper sometimes. Well, Miss Bryant, where shall we move the yearlings in the south pasture? Well, it really doesn't matter. I wonder if I could borrow the station wagon this afternoon. I have to go into town. To town? What for? Well, what I mean is, if you really need something in town, Gabby and I will be glad to pick it up for well, you. Well, no, you see, this is something I can take care of personally. Well, I'm sorry, Miss Bryant, but that carburetor's... It's on the blink again? Well, sort of. Come on, Gabby. We'll see you later, Miss Bryant. Well, where do you think you're going all dressed up? Tack room. Need a couple of saddles. A couple of saddles? What for? Well, I've got a date with Miss Wanda. Well, I'll tell her you'll be a little late. I've got a job for you and the boys. Okay, I'll tell... Me? And what job? Gabby will tell you all about it. So long. <laughs> what time is it, Stella? Four o'clock, straight up. Oh, gee, I'm supposed to be there at four. Beware, isn't he going to pick you up? No, I'm going to meet him at the love seat. Romantic, huh? <laughs> I suppose so. That's my date. Thanks, honey, you're a doll. Madame. Bye, all you lonesome people. Don't wait up for me. Oh, hello. Hello. I thought you were Robert. I'm afraid Robert will be a little bit late. That's peachy. Well, hello, Miss Bryant. Well, hello. Uh, I'm sorry about the station wagon. I brought you a horse, though. Thought maybe you could ride him until we get the motor fixed. Well, thank you. Uh, maybe you'd like to take a look at him and sort of get acquainted. All right. His name's Billy. You don't have to be afraid of him. He's gentle as a cow. Oh, he's beautiful. Think you can handle him all right? I can't if he knows what woe means. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, would you like to try him out now? Sure, why not? Swell. I'll help you on. to make that valley beautiful, Miss Bryant. The first people in there cleared it with their bare hands. They came over Green Horse Mountain yonder and covered wagons. A lot of them died in the snow. I remember hearing my granddad talk about that when he came east one time. I was just a kid. Did you know my granddad, Roy? Yes, I knew him. My grandfather came over that trail with him. They settled this section together. Those old pioneers certainly went through a lot of hardships. Yeah, but if you love the land like they did, I guess hardships don't matter much. They were building for the future and not thinking so much about themselves. I suppose so. Gosh, I'm awful sorry I'm late, Miss Wanda. Of all the dirty low-down tricks standing me up, and on my last night here. Well, doggone it, I just couldn't help it. I was doing something for Roy. Yeah, what? But I can't tell you that. And besides, I don't think this is your last night here. I think you're staying. Staying? What are you talking about? Well, that's all I can say. I can't tell you any more than that. Want to bet? 
Wanda, it's the middle of the night. Brother, of I got news. We're staying here. What? Oh, this is where I came in. But Dorothy said that we were leaving, that she was selling the ranch tomorrow. But that was before that cowboy Casanova took her for a ride in the moonlight. Roy, perhaps I've been wrong. Wrong? Yeah. About a lot of things. Just what do you mean? What I mean is that I think maybe I really do belong out here. Well, I'm sure glad to hear you say that, Dorothy, because, well, there's something I have to tell you. If you don't mind, though, I'd like to keep it till tomorrow. It's a sort of a surprise. Surprise? Mm-hmm. Will you and the girls hold tomorrow afternoon open? Sure. Well, good. Gabby will pick you up in the station wagon about 3 o'clock. We'll be waiting. Okay. Now, don't forget, at 3 o'clock. I won't. Good night. Good night. I'll bet that guy could pedal ice cubes at the North Pole. <laughs> Do you know what he did? He even arranged a musical background for the Moonlight and Roses scene. And Bob told me that when Roy sells them, they stay sold. You mean to say Dorothy fell for a corny gag by a yokel cowpoke? I hope I don't look that simple. I just rode along for the laughs. Oh, gee, Dorothy, I, I didn't know you were outside. Don't be silly, Wanda. You weren't telling me anything I didn't already know. I just wanted to talk him out of a horse. After all, I did have to go in town to make a deal from the ranch, didn't I? Here's the bill of sale, Miss Bryant. You'll find things as we agreed. The Bar X Ranch, together with all the equipment and livestock, $5,000. $1,000 now? The balance within 30 days through your own bank in Chicago. It looks all right to me. It's perfectly legal. Just sign here. Yes. Here you are. Thank you. My check for $1,000. Well, that closes the deal. Satisfactory? Very. To be perfectly honest with you, Mr. Boltman, I didn't expect that much. Goodbye, Mr. Boltman. Thank you very much. Goodbye. She thanks me. Not a bad morning's work. I hope there's no kickback on it. How can there be? I've got her signature. The deal is closed legally. Sure, but you're forgetting something, ain't you? You just gave her one of those checks of yours, and you've still got to raise another 4000 This deal will be closed before that check clears. With all those Bar X cattle, you don't think I'm going to have any trouble raising $5,000, do you? Plus a neat little profit for myself. Faces for the turkey. Hurry it up, fellas. They ought to be here any minute. Light those candles, Tim. Who ever heard of candles in broad daylight? We always have candles at a party. You fellas all know what to do? I got as we ought to. You've only told us ten times already. Hey, it's after three o'clock. Maybe that station wagon really did break down. Or Gabby broke down. Here they come, boys. Get your positions and let's have the music. I'm going to hide away out beside that Utah trail. Moonlight as bright as day far out on that Utah trail. There's where I'll settle down in peace where all is still In a little hut just built for two Tucked away in the heart of the hill Beneath the skies of blue Well, where are the girls? Gone. Skipped out. Vamoose bag and baggage. <laughs> Left this on the door for you. Thanks for the ride in the moonlight. Utah's a fine place, but so is Chicago. And that's where we've gone, Dorothy Bryant. Well, maybe it's not too late to stop him. Stop him? What for? This is what you wanted, isn't it? Well, not just like this. Say, what's eating you anyhow? 
The whole idea was to get that female back east before she could sell the bar X. So it worked. So everything is Jake. So let's eat. Well, I can't figure this out. Last night she she was all set to stay. Good riddance, what I say. Now we really got an excuse to throw a party. Come on, boy. Strike up the music. I I guess that means Miss Wandle left too, huh? Hey, what is this? A funeral? There's a bunch of fellas on the south range. They're rounding up our cattle. Well, who are they? I don't know. But Ben Bowman's with them. Looks like trouble, boys. You better put on your guns. Where's my gun? Lamb. Hey, that's my horse, Gabby. Have it away, Bob. I got work to do. Cattle drive? That's right. Why? Then maybe you can't read brands. Can't you see that that's Bar X stock? Maybe you can't read a bill of sale. I happen to own the Bar X. You'll never make that stick, Bowman. No? I'm taking the cattle. But not far. Take it easy, Rogers. We're within our rights here, but Rogers might cause trouble. I'm gonna get the sheriff, Steve. Might as well step down and take it easy. You haven't got one chance in a million getting away with this, Lacey. One chance in two million. Drop that gun, you wall-eyed polecat. Nice work, son. Couldn't have done better myself. Thanks. Wrestlers, let's go get them. have at least said goodbye to the boys. <laughs> you mean the boys named Bob? Forget it. You'll meet four other Bobs before we get home. You know, I hate to leave. The mountains, the trees, the moonlight. You can say what you want about the Bar X. They don't have air like this in Chicago. You ever pass the stockyards on a windy day? <laughs> Miss Bryant. Yes. I'm Sheriff McBride. Yes, sir. Uh, this bill of sale, it seems uh, Roy Rogers questions it. I don't see what right he has to question what doesn't concern him, Sheriff. Then you did sell the Bar X and all the cattle on it? I certainly did. Thanks, Miss Bryant. Not at all. Well, girls, it's farewell to Utah. Let's uh -huh. go. What's going on here, Roy? We're rounding up a bunch of rustlers. 
You're wrong, Roy. These men have a perfect right to move the Bar X stock. They work for Bowman here. Bowman bought the ranch. Bought it? <laughs> That's a laugh. I just talked to Miss Bryant myself. She acknowledged the sale. She... Then it was fraud. She didn't know what she was doing. It ain't fraud when Bowman's got a bill of sale. And she was in her right mind when I talked to her. Look, Sheriff, you're not gonna let Rogers... I tell you, she thought she was selling Gabby's place. She thought it was the Bar X. Don't you see, Sheriff? I'm afraid I don't. I do. He's stalling for time. We've got a sale for these cattle, and if we don't get them out of here right away... If there's any dispute, Miss Bryant will have to take it to court. You'll have to let these men take the stock, Roy. And I don't want any trouble. Sure, if I want to prefer charges against Rogers for assault with a deadly weapon. Is this a deadly weapon? I'm sorry, but you asked for it, Roy. It's like I always said. It's mixed up with females and you end up in trouble. There we were, sitting back minding our own business when along comes them women. We couldn't very well sit back and watch Miss Bryant lose her ranch, could we? To say nothing to see him the range overrun with sheep. Well, looks like both them things are going to happen now. I tell you, Roy, there ain't no... What's up, Bob? They're shipping the Bar X cattle to Chicago. Me and the boys were down by the pens, and they're loading them in the cars right now. Once they get that stock away from here, you'll never get it back. Where's Bowman and Lacey? They took the passenger train to Chicago. Nah, that means they're taking them to the stockyards to sell the cattle. We've got to get a hold of them before they make a sale. <laughs> but how? You couldn't catch up to him now, even if he was out of there, which you ain't. Well, we're going to be on that cattle train when they meet it in Chicago. As for getting out of here... You and the boys get our horses and bring them around here. We'll meet you in about five minutes. Hey, Sheriff! What do you want? Would you come here a minute? I got something I want to tell you. What's on your mind? Oh. Oh. Get me off of this thing, will you? Hurry up. Turn off that current. No! Let me do it, Gabby. I got blood. Will you turn off that current, Rogers? You think you can put anything over on me? Turn off that current. You think you can get away with this, Rogers? You're crazy. Turn off that switch, will you? Get me off of this thing, Rogers. Help! Get me out of here, somebody. Hurry up! some horses we want to ship to Chicago. Have you got an empty car? Yeah, the next car is empty, but you'll have to hurry. We're due out of here right now. Fine. All right, boys, put them in the next car. I'll have to fill this out. One of you going along to take care of them? We're all going. Conductor, thanks a lot. Okay, my boy. Let her roll.
back from Chicago. <laughs> Well, they pulled the cattle cars out on us. We pulled the cattle cars over to the west end of the yard. Thanks. Hurry up, fellas. We've got to get to the west side of the yard and fast. The count checks, Harry. There you are, Mr. Bowman. Thank you. What are they doing in Chicago? Let's get out of here. I'll take a little. All right. Take care of him, Gabby. I wonder where they're going in such a hurry. We'll find out. What's going on here? We just picked up a couple of cattle thieves for you. Cattle thieves? These men just tried to rob us. They're trying to put over a fast one, officer. I think you're all trying to put over a fast one. Let's talk this over at headquarters. They're both in my office now, Sheriff. Yes, I certainly will. 
Now, you can count on that. Yes, right here. In just a moment. Oh, well, Rogers. He wants to talk to you. Thanks. Yes, Sheriff. Well, Roy, you sure put the right tag on Bowman and Lacey. It was a fraud, all right. And to cinch it, that $1,000 check of Bowman's might just as well have been Confederate money. I just talked to Brian's girl by long-distance phone. You did? Well, have you got her address here in Chicago? Okay, Sheriff. What? I still got a little matter of jailbreaking to settle with you. Funny thing about that. The doctor said that electric shock cured my arthritis. Well, maybe I ought to send you a bill for medical services. Well, thanks a lot, Sheriff. So long. I'm holding you men for the Utah authorities. Why, this whole thing's a mistake. We were sort of acting for Miss Bryant in the sale of the cattle, that's all. We always intended to give her the money. Well, in that case, Maybe you'd better endorse this check over to her. I'd be glad to. Think you'd better take charge of this, Mr. Rogers? Thanks. I hope it's better than Bowman's. Well, I guess I'll be running along. I've got a date to explain a few things to a young lady. Well, we won't take up any more of your time. Uh, just a minute. That's what you think. I'm still holding you for the Utah Sheriff. Take him downstairs, Bill. Kids, you're not giving me what I want at all. You haven't caught the spirit of this thing. This is supposed to be the West, Utah. Well, I don't know anything about shows, Dorothy, but this one looks like you've made a good investment. I only wish we had Dorothy playing the lead. <laughs> I'm afraid that's out, Ralph. I'm a-heading for Utah. <laughs> this time, I hope I get on the right ranch. You will. Roy and Dorothy are play that scene right good. What do you know about scenes, you old goat? <laughs> oh, quiet, Grandma. Now, you're just an ordinary cowboy. And you, Miss Harris, you're a girl from the East who's inherited this ranch. It's a very simple matter. Oh, kids, will you come up here, please? No, no, I want the rest of you, too. Maybe Roy and Dorothy can show you what I mean. <laughs> we should be able to. Come on, Roy. Oh, wild and woolly gals from out Chicago way. They came out west just to yippee ki -yay. Still, we really like them and hope that they can stay. The wild and woolly gals from out Chicago way. If there's a place more beautiful to view, more wonderful than Utah, I can't believe it's true. Beside a friendly
sheep went by. Four little, three little, two little, one little sheep just caught my eye. One little, two little, three little, four little, five sheep yelled, hey! Say, who is this guy you got herding our sheep today? Just look this way. Daddy yeah, got me herding sheep now. I'm so mad that I could pop. I'm a whiskered little boat peep now. Get along there, you lamb chop. <laughs> <laughs> 